Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you yet again for beating the crowds. You know about XRP before almost any other human on the planet. Even 12 years into this fun little uh, cryptocurrency asset class, about eight years into XRP's existence, almost nobody in existence is aware of it. The X XRP markets today, despite the fact that we've seen a huge run-up in XRP price uh, recently, and I know there's, there's the flash crash, I got that today, fine, I don't care about that, just in a general sense, seeing XRP over a freaking dollar recently hit $2, uh, considering several months ago it was at about $0.17, cents. It's, it's very nice seeing that, but the, the, the huge part of the reason that it's possible to have these returns, and a, a huge, huge reason for the volatility, is because markets are a liquid. It doesn't take much money coming in or out to have a profound impact on price. And I think most people don't get that. You know, to, to on, onlookers, just, just seeing um, that have really have no earthly idea of what's going on, if you just, even if you hear about Bitcoin, maybe you see it on, on a major, you know, mainstream uh, news channel, whether CNBC or pick your channel, and you see them talking about it and talking about how volatile it is and how it's all over the place. Well, before I did any research on crypto, uh, and by the way, I've been in crypto since November 2017, but before I did any research on it, um, just sitting there, just understanding the initial is like, wow, so this is something, magic internet money, got it. <laughs> it's uh, it's extremely volatile. Um, okay. So you, you like if you're jumping into the market, you might have this idea of it's, it's so turbulent, indicating that it could permanently flop one way or the other. Like it could either go off and then it stays worth a ton forever, or it could just one day have this tremendous downside effect and go to zero. And I think a lot of people new to crypto, uh, they're living with that fear that it could. And I would argue that 12 years into this crypto asset class, uh, it could not be more clear that it's not going away. It's not clear necessarily which cryptos will be here for the long haul, but there's clearly something to this. And so my aha moment was when I realized that you can have business models that cannot exist unless you have a decentralized uh, cryptocurrency with an open market price. And once I realized that, I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff's never going away. And so it's going to be messy along the way. Maybe some of the cryptocurrencies that we think might uh, be around for the long haul, maybe we'll be wrong about some of that. Um, maybe we'll be right about some of it too. I mean, certainly XRP, it's functionally getting used today. So as long as it continues to solve a problem, I suspect it'll be around for the, for the long haul. But there's so much opportunity here today, I firmly believe, because the markets are so young and there's almost no money. That's the reason, if you're wondering, how the hell is it that in this market, and you can't get this anywhere else on the planet, you can get in short order, you know, uh, five, five fold returns, 10 fold, 50 fold, 100 fold, 1000 fold, if you're in a small cap coin. You know, like, how is this even possible? It's because almost no one's in it. And so as more people come in, they bid the price up. But the more people you have in it, the, the, the more money needs to come in to get a multiplier effect, even get a twofold increase. Think about how much money you would have to flow into Bitcoin now to get a twofold increase. It's got like a, here, let's pull up the prices now. What's what's the market cap for Bitcoin? Uh, just a hair under a trillion dollars. Okay, well, XRP, as I record, this is 55 billion, Okay. It would need a 20-fold increase just to get to Bitcoin. Now, how much easier is it to get that much money to flow into XRP as opposed to getting a 20-fold um, increase in market cap from Bitcoin? Way easier for, for, for a cryptocurrency where there's less money, right? That's the reason you can have these multiplier effects. And so what's exciting is recognizing how few people know about this now and seeing that we've already, just a few years ago, gotten XRP to the point where it was almost four freaking dollars. So take a look at this headline from you today. Here's how many Americans know about XRP, Cardano, and Chainlink. According to a new report published by cryptocurrency exchange Gemini, only 6% of crypto-curious U.S. adults have heard about XRP. So that's in the United States. Binance Coin is also yet to penetrate the consciousness of the mainstream with a 5% awareness level. And, and mind you, think about that too. As I record this, Binance Coin... Uh, currently, and this, it has been flip-flopping back and forth, but Binance Coin currently has a bigger market cap than XRP. It's number three. $78 billion market cap. XRP's market cap, again, about $55 billion. And, oh, and, and even fewer people know about Binance Coin. It's such early days. Like, I don't know if it, you may feel like you're late to the party if you're new to crypto. My friend, let me let me be the perhaps the first to tell you, you are early to the party. In fact, it is rude for you to show up before the party has started. Maybe you should go home. This is very rude and kind of awkward. 
So like, seriously, it is really, really early out there. Okay. Um, I firmly believe that. And you know, it's, it's kind of funny to think too, you know, the people that um, saw Bitcoin when it rocketed up to $100 or $1,000, even at both of those price levels, people are like, oh my gosh, uh, I'm late. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> and it sounds funny now because we know what happened. Uh, I'm late to the party. I just, my gosh, it's, if only I had known about Bitcoin when it was, when it was like 10 cents, you know, if only I had known that. <laughs> Of course, then it ran up to a dollar and ultimately a hundred dollars and then a thousand dollars and over sixty thousand dollars. And so it's easy to feel like you're late when you're living in the present, but I have to assure you that once we have the benefit of hindsight, look look like fast forward five, ten years, you will recognize that you are super early at this point in 2021. Um, and so hi, let's just to kind of get this, I, I really want to implant this in people's minds because there's so much opportunity to be had in crypto. Um, and, and actually I'll even say this, I haven't talked about this much either, but like what's, and I'll be briefer on this topic cause I don't want to shift gears really, but what's the next market cycle going to look like? I don't know for sure, because at some point you will get a flushing out of all these crap projects because there's over 8,000 cryptocurrencies. You don't need that many. Um, I'm not completely convinced because like people after the last market cycle, there's so there's no shortage of people saying, okay, this is the flushing out we needed. Now we can have a, a mature adult crypto asset class. And only those coins that actually are worthwhile will go up in price. Uh, and we're seeing that humans um, are, are behaving the same as they did last market cycle. So th that thesis is, it, it, it's been proven bogus, right? And I was skeptical of it the whole time and verbally so on this channel because what i saw is coins not going to zero i saw uh, cryptocurrencies although not getting used continuing and so now you're seeing coins that don't do anything pumping still it's an indication of a, a nascent asset class that that's, that's really what it is here so n next market cycle though will that will there be the flush i don't know i'm gonna watch we're just gonna watch and I'll, my opinion, uh, opinion my opinion will form in real time uh, but but even so, it's some because look, utility will matter at some point. XRP is getting used; it's functionally useful today. This is going to matter, and and so that's why I don't think XRP is going to go away as long as it continues to get used. And there's so many use cases for it. I suspect it will be one of the very long term winners. I could be wrong, and I reserve the right to uh, adjust my opinion. I'm not one of those people that says zero doubt. Uh, I do have doubt. I have strong conviction, but that doesn't mean that I literally have zero doubt. And so I can, you out there listening, I'm sure there's some of you listening that use the term zero doubt. I respect you. I feel where you're coming from. Uh, I'm not going to use that term because it's just not precise, and I'd rather speak with precision because I have a little bit of doubt. I, I, I just I don't know for sure. Uh, if I had to bet one way or the other based on uh, information available today, XRP is going to be here for decades or longer. Yep globally adopted i think there's a really good chance i could be wrong though so here's the one of the most amazing things about all of this though in terms of price action and opportunity and if you're new like this like think through this this will blow your simple little mind it blew my moon lambo little mind when i when i realized this xrp ran up to almost four dollars a few years ago during the last market cycle with almost nobody um having ever held it at any point in time there were, at that point, I, it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 1 million XRP accounts. It could have been a little less. I'd have to go back and, and look. I've been, I, actually, I really do need to go back and try and figure that out at some point. But I think it was around a million accounts towards the end of 2017, early 2018. And so you, you know that, you know what percentage of the population that represents globally, considering there's, uh, you know, a little less than 8 billion people on the planet? That would have been 0.001% of humans, 0.001% of humans uh, caused the price of XRP in a, in a span of, uh, you know, two and a half weeks-ish, 17 days, something like that, to go from 20-something cents to almost $4. Now, I say 0.001%, it could be less or more for a number of factors. Um, on cryptocurrency exchanges, there are shared addresses, so maybe there are more, there are more people than that. Uh, it's, it's, it's certainly possible. I don't know for sure. There are a number of factors. So actually it could be, uh, more or less, but either way, let's just like, let's use the data that we have. Let's say it is 0.001%. That's almost nothing. And so these people that are like, oh my God, the, the XRP supply is too high. It's never going to be worth all these crazy numbers of $5 or $10 or $50 or $100. Uh, well, look, I don't know where it's going to go price-wise for sure, but that's a bad argument. That's a really bad argument. Not much money has to flow in to get people to bid the price up. So if you have a, whatever the market cap would be at, if XRP ever hits $100, if it ever does, you know, that market cap might sound huge, whatever the number is. I didn't run the number before recording this. I'm not going to do it now. It doesn't matter. 
Uh, might sound huge to you, but that does not mean that much money flowed in. There's enough money on the planet, I firmly believe, I've looked into it enough to firmly believe this, that you can get to a position where people bid up the price to that level. I don't think it's going to happen this market cycle. It's it's possible maybe it will happen in the future, and I could be wrong, but I, I certainly think even to get to that level, I don't think it's outside of the realm of possibility. And as I record this, you're talking about 2827000 65 XRP accounts in existence now. So about a three-fold increase. Think about that. Three times as many humans, just about, have ever held XRP at any point in time compared to when it ran up to $4. And we know how much more money is flowing into crypto in general. Yet here we see the XRP price at what it is today. <laughs> Where do you think this is going? Because look, here's this is such a key thing to understand. Also, money flows into Bitcoin first. People eventually want to take profits, but they don't want to be done. They, they look for coins that look cheap, and it's not about fundamentals. And then money flows into XRP and every other altcoin, and then those pump, and then, oh, let's realize more profits, and then the money goes away. Uh, you know, because look, bubbles inflate, and then they pop. Like that, That's what I'm functionally talking about here. And we haven't had that yet. We haven't had the, bu the XRP bubble inflate. I believe it will, which is a good thing. I want that to happen. I want the bubble to inflate. I want to sell along the way to the top. I won't be able to time the top because I'm not some sort of sorcerer. And you aren't either. You will fail if you try. Uh, but I will make a number of sales along the way. And uh, and then the bubble's going to pop. And then uh, we'll enter a bear market. And I'm going to start purchasing again. And I'll talk about it. I'll, I'll tell you everything I do. Um, other than I'm not going to divulge how much XRP I have and might not necessarily share how much I'm selling along the way. I don't think I want to do that. But in terms of when I'm, I'm doing those, engaging those behaviors and those selling activities, yeah, I'll be happy to, to be transparent about that stuff. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sell along the way to the top. And then once it gets to the bottom, phew. but uh, I think it, I, I kind of hope that next market cycle, the, like, the importance of utility really does kick in. Because uh, if, if, if people wait uh, their, their XRP, their, I'm not sorry, not their, their XRP, their crypto holdings based on utility, what do you think is going to happen to XRP when it's functionally getting used? Because look, at some point, it's going to be clear which one. Like you can ask, like, why aren't we seeing that today? Well, the reason is there's so many coins right now and it's such early days that um, almost nothing's take, taken hold in terms of usefulness in terms of crypto, almost nothing. And so it's not clear which cryptocurrencies will have winners. And so the reason for everything going up in tandem is because people just aren't sure what's going to be here for the long haul. And I'd say for a good reason. There's a lot of stuff out there. Now, some of it seems obvious to me it should probably just go away. But uh, still, that's just not the way that the market's behaving. It's not about utility today. But to know that XRP went up to almost four bucks uh, with almost no human on the planet having ever held it, and now you've got like th three times as many as accounts as, as when that happened. Like, my gosh, when this thing pops, holy hell. Like, you've got, we've got to have, don't you think? Don't you think that it would be a, a price that's just beyond what we've ever seen? I mean, even if you're just talking to like, 10 to $13 range, which is what, uh, for instance, my fellow XRP YouTuber, the blockchain backer, thinks it's going to hit. Uh, to me, I, I, I'll, I'll even share with you this, even though I'm not willing to make a price prediction, and because I, I acknowledge I'm not, I'm just not one of those price prediction guys. And I get everything that I'm sharing with you, it's just my opinion. So that's why I always say it's not financial advice. I could be wrong about all this. But um, I'm at a point now where I just think, based on where I've seen the market progress and knowing how these cycles work and knowing that this cycle people are behaving the same as last time, more or less. I would be surprised, I really would, legitimately surprised if we don't see at some point during this this market cycle XRP at least hitting $10. I would be surprised. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, and it's not a price prediction, um, but, but that's how strong life is. Now, the higher the pr price we're talking about, the less sure I become. You know, uh, whether it's 15 bucks or 20 bucks or 30 bucks, and like, bucks, oh, that's a bit harder. Um, but I feel very confident about all-time high being reached again this market cycle, all the way up to five bucks, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'd just be surprised if we don't hit it, because there's certainly enough money in the space now that when it cycles, it, you'd think it should happen. I think all these large cap coins are going to move up, and it won't be about utility. I care about utility. Maybe you do. The market doesn't care right now. Yeah, they just don't. But that's so cool. Like, don't, don't you think that's fantastic knowing that so few humans have ever touched XRP and it's already done what it's done? And we're on the precipice of this just it rocketing off. Uh, you know, and I say that, it doesn't mean necessarily tomorrow, but we've progressed very far into this market cycle. So even if it's one, two, three, six, nine months away from, uh, you know, hitting its top, I don't know what it'll be. Uh, it's not that far away. Like, we're, we're, we're pretty well getting there. 
I feel excited about this. I hope you do too. I, I hope it's coming across properly. I, I really am just excited about this opportunity because, look, I've been in this at this point for you know in the neighborhood of three three and a half years. Never sold a single XRP. Never cashed out any of my crypto into USD. Um, so, so yes, I did deal with the whole retracement after the last bubble popped, um, and I've just been planning for for this moment. And it's so fun and it's so exciting. Um, a little bit nerve wracking at times, not because of the uh, the oscillations in terms of the, like the volatility. I'm I'm more so nervous to tell you like one of the things I'm most worried about is uh, cryptocurrency exchanges going down. So there are things that could make this go terribly wrong for me, um, which is another reason I don't want to try and even try to sell everything at the top. I would fail. But uh, just with the uncertainty of the technicals of of the uh, cryptocurrency exchanges out there, even if they're great exchanges, my gosh, that's an unknown, and stuff like that does worry me. So. Ah, it's fun though. It's fun. It is exciting. But I'll wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon Lambo.